And have you heard from Harry Styles' agents yet? Because <laughs> I saw I saw on, on Good Morning America, you've said like, and by the way, very smart of you, Nicholas Sparks, because as I was, I heard you say, oh yeah, Harry Styles would be great to play Colby. And I kind of pictured Harry Styles mm, as cool. I was doing it, which made it all the better. Right. Uh, yeah, that was your, know, hey, thank you, George Stephanopoulos for the, <laughs> the great layup there. All I had to do was swing the bat and there it went, right? I had a few questions on that. Hey, it would be great, right? He's, he's uh, an an unbelievable singer my my daughters hit the floor when they were watching the interview on television like oh my gosh really it's gonna be harry Styles." i'm like i, I didn't say that <laughs> what, what i said was well wouldn't it be great if he was missing in there? keywords <laughs> ladies missing keywords yeah. keywords anyway they were they were absolutely thrilled and and of course you know he's coming out in a big movie it's obvious uh the the, the young man can act and you know you always want a good actor and yes this will most likely be a film by the way well that's what i was going to ask you because in in some ways like with your writing how much has it changed in terms of just having so many of your books be adapted for you know a more visual component and whether or not that has changed your writing over time just thinking because like even with this story and not that no one can write about music but you you think more visually when you think of or you know audio of thinking like you know them on the beach playing music these yeah, venues, it really things lends like that. itself yeah it, it lends itself way. to be a movie for sure well thank you you know it's so interesting uh, another great question you guys are not you guys are great today um the uh the knowledge that a lot of them will get made into film really comes into play in the conception part of the story. Because if I'm going to write a story and it might be a movie, I want it to be original and interesting in both mediums. And they're very different mediums. One's a story told with words and one's a story told with pictures. So um, I reject a lot of ideas because I don't feel they'd be original either as a book or as a film. Easy way to understand that. I would never write a love story set on the Titanic. Why? Hey, it's never been a book, right? Why not? Well, you know, there's a pretty big movie about that. So <laughs> lots of ideas get rejected in the conception stage because they say, you know, that's too similar to Crazy Rich Asians or, or that's too similar to Sweet Home Alabama, right? You, you mm -hmm. kind of throw out ideas. But once I settle on the idea and I think it'll be good for both mediums, then I only think about the book then once I'm done with the book, I, I say, OK, what do we have to do to change this book to make it the best movie we can possibly make? So it's kind of a three step thing. 